Yeah, that's fine. Is modular less expensive than site built? Great question. Modular construction can be less expensive, cost neutral, or in some cases, even more expensive, just depending on the markets that you're going into. Uh, typically, construction cost in a particular market will determine whether or not modular construction is a viable option. Distance from the factory can also play a big part in whether or not a, a particular market can absorb those costs and for a project to be successful. One of the things we have to remember is that we can shave up to 50% off of your construction schedule. You're reducing your contingency costs, your general conditions, and ultimately your carrying costs. So those factors have to be weighed into the total project cost. Our pre-construction team is prepared to, to walk you through that feasibility and help you determine whether or not your project could be a success using modular construction. How do I understand the entire cost of a modular project? Uh, our pre-construction and estimating team typically provides at the very early stages a rough order of magnitude pricing for the project, including manufacturing, delivery, installation, and in some cases, construction services. Oftentimes, we prepare that with a project test fit that gives you an outline of the number of modules uh, along with a detailed scope of work that needs to be completed in the field once the buildings are erected. We do have the capability of providing you with full estimates for on-site construction so that you can get an understanding of your full construction cost. What services does VBC provide and who do I need to hire? As a vertically integrated company, VBC can take your project from concept to completion. In addition to our manufacturing services, VBC can provide design, pre-construction, delivery and installation, and even construction services. We work alongside of your team your architect of record and your engineer of record, as well as your general contractor. Our team acts as the modular architect of record and the modular engineer of record, providing you with a delineation of responsibilities so that both teams understand their scope and understand the deliverables that are required. It's a partnership. It's a collective and collaborative effort between all the stakeholders in the project. Do I need a general contractor? In general, yes. We recommend you introducing us to your general contractor as early in the process as possible so that we can help define the scope and all the items needed to, for the project to be a success. In some areas, in some markets, we are able to provide those construction services, including turnkeying the interior of the modular space up to and including full ground up turnkey construction. In areas where we cannot provide these construction services, we work alongside of your general contractor to help de-scope the project, provide your trades insight into how the project needs to be finished, and provides the clients with the most competitive prices for the work. How long does it take to build a building in the factory? Every product and every project is slightly different depending on its complexity and its, and its unit mix. Typically, in our East Coast manufacturing facility, we're building somewhere between eight and 10,000 square feet a week. On our West Coast facility, we're building anywhere from 11 to 13,000 square feet a week. Our facilities in Poland are generally building somewhere in the range of five to 800 square meters per week. How long does it take to set a modular building? Much like the manufacturing process, each project is slightly different. Site conditions severely impact how many modules can be set in a particular day. Site access, crane availability, crane location, uh, as well as the storage yard location to the, to the project site. In general, a good rule of thumb is we set between eight and 12 modules daily. Can you build stairs and elevators with modular construction? Stairs and elevator shafts can be part of our modular construction. Uh, it helps avoid the need for building concrete cores on site. Uh, it also allows for quicker mobilization of the, of the team once the building is set. So we highly recommend allowing us to incorporate all of your elevator and stair shafts in our building. How finished are the VBC modules? Depending on the unit type, VBC typically finishes the modules anywhere from 85 to 95% complete. Studio units are traditionally at the upper end of that range and units that typically require multiple modules to make up a living space generally are at the lower end of that range. Is there a minimum building size where modular makes sense? Typically, VBC is working on projects that are 50,000 square feet or 4,600 square meters or more. 
Generally speaking, it's all about the repeatability of the building and whether or not those modules can be deployed in future projects. There are certainly times where we do projects of lower square footages or square meters, depending on the repeatability, the efficiency of the design. But typically it makes more sense for larger projects to reap the benefits of the scale. How does location impact modular projects? Typically modular projects are most competitive in urban areas that have higher costs of construction. Uh, generally speaking, uh, we have minimal site disruption, we require less laydown area, and for the most part, we can have a building erected much faster than your traditional construction, reducing your overall schedule by about 50%. How do labor shortages affect modular construction? You know, one of the current concerns in the modular industry is the reduced labor force out in the field. Since our product and our projects are constructed in a manufacturing facility, we can train our labor force to do multiple trades and multiple tasks more quickly than traditional construction. Equally important is the reduced number of trades needed in the field once the building is erected. Since most of the work is completed in the factory, you have very little work that needs to be completed in the field, reducing your overall requirement for labor. What impact does transportation have on the overall modular cost of a project? Transportation plays a big role in the project cost, depending on the distance from the manufacturing facility. In some markets where costs of construction are high, it's easy to absorb those logistical costs into your overall budget. The benefit of faster construction typically will offset those logistical costs. With our factories located on the east and west coast of the United States, as well as our facility in Europe, we can deliver by land or by sea to any of your project locations. I encourage you to have a quick discussion with our business development or pre-construction team to determine whether or not the cost of transportation will have an impact on your budget.